Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Uh, this video is um, it's my recent blog post on how to fix duplicate title tags. Uh, and I've used Google Webmaster Tools to detect this issue. It's a fairly minor sort of issue, but it is duplicate titles, and titles do carry a lot of weight. They are uh, a powerful part of search engine optimization, so, so, so I need to fix them. They've been caused by creating uh, tags, post tags, with exactly the same name as an existing category, and, uh, and therefore you get a, a, a post tag slug, uh, and the slug's a little part up here, exactly the same as a category slug, and therefore it becomes a duplicate and causes problems as well with your categories. And my recent uh, post and video was on categories, how to fix duplicate category slugs so so if you're adding tags and you've already got an existing category system uh, make sure that the tag name is unique it, ca it cannot be the same as the uh, the category name or the category slug or it, and it cannot be the same as a page or a, uh, a page title or a page slug as well so uh, the easiest way to, to detect these sort of issues is Google Webmaster Tools. It's a free tool. Um, they provide a range of free tools which help improve your site's visibility on Google, and that's pretty much what they do. You can, uh, their tools allow you to see how Google indexes your site and diagnose problems so you can improve your site's uh, visibility, and that's, that's exactly what they do. Um, so if you haven't signed up for Google, Google Webmaster Tools, do it because if you're full, if you if you're writing blog posts every day, or you're getting any business from your site, you want to optimise it. So let, let's have a look in Google Webmaster Tools, and I've got a few sites here. We'll go down to my, one of my main sites. Okay. Now just on the left under di Diagnostics, we go to H HTML uh, suggestions. And you, you can see there I've got 14 duplicates. Um, they just created by post tags, which I added fairly recently over the last few months. And I, ha I haven't checked because I've got so many posts in different categories. Um, but I want it all neat and tidy, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm going to work through all the different little issues, and it's, it's only uh, they're only small issues. None of them are major because I'm getting excellent search engine traffic. But uh, but this this can really help you. And if we click on duplicate title tags, we'll see where the problem is. I've actually fixed all of these yesterday. It hasn't registered yet in Google Webmaster Tools because they're very slow, as you're probably aware with uh, Google Analytics. They're a day behind at least. So, uh, but if we just open these up, we'll see the page. I've got a category called Page Speed, and I've also somewhere created a tag called Page Speed. So you've got to go in and uh, you've got to go in and change them. It's pretty much the same sort sort of thing with all of these, even though I've fixed them already. Uh, here we go. To I've fixed all the categories yesterday as well. So uh, so we just have to rename these. You, you don't want to change the category because that's that can cause a problem. Unless you've got two duplicate categories like this, then you have to you have to reassign them to one and I've already been through that in the last uh, blog post and, and video as well so we'll just look at uh, we'll just look at post tags now you can just simply delete them and that's not going to affect your SEO really or you can rename them and uh, and that's what I've done I've renamed them so with this one page speed of um, I think I renamed it to improve page speed but but I'll show you all you do is go up to posts there when you're in your your, your uh, WordPress admin panel and click on post tags and uh, and the one we're looking for here we'll start at the first one is page speed okay so we we go up and uh, here we go here we've got about 352 tags so we just use the search tag function and uh, type in page speed. We want to locate this one just so we can edit it or delete it. And you can see I've already put it in there. So uh, so it's not going to come up, but uh, it, 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 oh, it did yesterday. And uh, I'll look at uh, I'll look at look at another one. Basically, if we if we had ad use, no, that's probably not a good example. Let's let's uh, let's look at best plugins. I think this is a good example. 
if I had the duplicate best plugins, so if this was best plugins here, I had a category called best plugins and a tag exactly the same name, best plugins. I can I can locate best plugins using the search tags up here. Now it'll come up best plugins, and then I can click on uh, quick edit, and you can see the name, the tag, and the slug that it creates for the permalink. So I can I can easily create this, and I could call uh, best. I can rename it say best WP plugins or something. So that way it won't clash with the existing category of the same name and then I just update the tag. So that's all you need to do. Or you can just delete the tags. But uh, you know having having one tag in there I think is not a bad idea. Um, you know your tags will never replace your, your categories. Your categories are what you want to focus on. With your tags they're meant to complement your your categories. So you want a name that's very similar, but probably a bit more detailed. If you've got a category that has one or two words in it, then with your tag you might want it three, so it's more like a, a, a long tail keyword that relates totally to the category name and the content in the post, and that'll help your search engine optimization. So, uh, so it's very easy fixing and that's all you do, you locate them under tags and then you just change the name and you make sure it's a unique name. And if you start to build up a lot of tags, um, you know, you've got to be careful because it's, uh, it becomes more and more work. Uh, I mean another way to use the tags is just to use, is to use them to group all your content and use the same tag on, on, on related content. But that's really what uh, that's really what categories do. So you could do it that way, and that'll certainly reduce the amount of tags you'll have to use. So I hope I hope this video has helped you uh, understand a bit more about tags. It's it's not complicated. This is a very very easy fix uh, for your site, and this is just one of the uh, the issues that Google uh, Webmaster Tools will report to you and 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 help you with. So. Uh, there's, there's more detail on my side. I've written a very extensive blog post on it with screenshots and it's, it's a very good tutorial this one. It's very, very easy to follow. So, so I think even uh, absolute beginners with little or no experience whatsoever should, should be able to work through this uh, and just fix those little issues and, uh, and, and that, that'll help you learn more about post tags if you don't understand exactly what they are. So uh, good luck. Cheers.